Hi, my name is Roland and welcome to my Vectrex Rolly Show. Thanks for joining me again and this time I will show you some flash and multicuts for the Vectrex system. I hope that it is not too much for you watching all my multicard videos. If you are new to my little show here, the Vectrex is my favorite gaming system, but not all videos here on my channel are about the Vectrex. I have different playlists for different systems and you can also find a lot of flash and multicuts here on my channel like the new EverDrive GBA but also for more obscure retro gaming systems like the Nintendo Pokemon Mini, Virtual Boy but also for the Atari Lynx for example or old home computers. I also showed many cards for the Vectrex already and if you are new to the Vectrex, I can recommend to watch my beginner's guide video where I tell you the most important things you should know before you go out and buy a Vectrex system and I can also recommend to subscribe to my channel as I will also cover more Vectrex topics in future videos. So what is the point now making another Vectrex Flash and Multicard video? Well, I get the same questions over and over again, which cards are available, what should I buy, and some of my viewers share one of my older videos, where I see Vectrex multi-card with dip switches, which is not state of the art anymore, so I think it will be quite helpful for many Vectrex owners out there to get an overview about the most important and most common flash and multi-card solutions for today, 2016. Will I show all cards ever made for the Vectrex? No, not really, and I'm sure I don't even know all multi-cuts. And if you know about any other good solution I did not cover in my video here, feel free to mention that in the comment section below. I will focus on the most important solutions and this video is neither a detailed review for each and every card nor an installation guide. I just want to give you an overview here so that you can decide what to buy and I will also link to all the videos whenever possible. Of course you can always use an emulator together with ROM files or the original card in your Vectrex system, but with Flash and Multicard you can get a huge library of games and programs, also including some rare and expensive titles. As you can try the games yourself, it is much easier to decide which screen overlays or which original game cards you would like to get later. Before we will have a closer look now, most of you will already know that in the retro gaming world you can get cards that come with some pre-installed content which you cannot change yourself. I always call those type of cards multi-cards and there are also cards available where you can change the content yourself. So if some homebrew developer releases a new program as a download, you can get that file, install it on your card and use it on real hardware and I always call those types of cards flash cards in my videos. Both of those types of cards also exist for the Vectrex and if you would like to get such a card you have to think about what you really want and need. A flash card is quite flexible, on the other hand a multi-card can be quite convenient to use and it also might contain some exclusive games. There are also people only interested in the old original classic games and not so much in newer homebrew titles for example. And of course there are always people like me that use both flash and multi-cards. So now let's start with multi-cards, with those type of cards you cannot add your own games or programs, so you have to live with the content that comes on your card and I would like to start with the multi-card made by Sean Kelly you see here. At the time I made this video the most current version you could get was 2.5 with 60 programs on it, so you can play the original games and some older homebrew games, it comes with all original Vectrex programs, only the light pen title Animation is missing as you would need additional RAM on the multi-card for that. Many years ago you could get an older version of that card using dip switches, later versions used the menu system to select the programs. This card is well known in the US and even people that are interested in other retro gaming systems and don't know much about the Vectrex, often they've heard about the Sean Kelly multi-card and that's because Mr. Kelly is well known in the retro gaming collector's community. 
I always wanted to get that nice classic multi-cut for my collection, but the used ones I saw on eBay were always way too expensive for what you can do with it. But then Sean Kelly himself produced a new batch of cards and sold them over eBay. So I finally could pick one up. In case you don't know, he also sells Vectrex Repro cartridge shells, which look almost identical to original shells, and his multi-cut comes already in such a dark grey Repro shell. Many years ago, Sean Kelly took the financial risk and invested a lot of money, several thousand US dollars, to produce a mold for the Repro card shells, and so he decided that he wants his multi card to be the only one which will be sold in that Repro shell. But of course, you can always buy such a Repro shell separately from him and also put other multi cards or flash cards into that. Or you can also get other solutions like 3D printed cases for example. Anyway, at the time I made this video, you could get version 2.5 for 50 US dollars plus shipping from eBay and I will put the link to the eBay store in the text below. Which multi card you would like to get might also depend on your location, so for example if you live in the US, it might be cheaper to get this multi card than one of the other solutions I will show you next. In case you don't know, there is no region lock on the Vectrex and so you can use any type of card on any system from all regions, but I tell you more about such things in my Vectrex Beginners Guide video. As some people think that the Sean Kelly multi-card was the first one that had a menu system, I want to show you this here. This is the menu-driven Mark Woodward multi-card version 1.1, which is from around 1994. This card even has a pause function, a reset key, and it had 31 programs stored on it, including the light pen program Animation. So even this was pretty advanced for its time, today in 2007. 16, a card like that is a pure collector's item only, I would say. But you know, this is the Vectrex Rolly show, so we always dive a bit deeper into Vectrex stuff here, so I wanted to show you also that card. There were some other obscure and rare cards made over the years, but let's focus on the more common solutions now. The next cards I will show you I showed already on my channel years ago. Those are the Vectrum cards and they use dip switches to select the programs. You still see those popping up on eBay, they work on all type of Vectrex systems, but those cards have one huge problem. You simply get much better solutions for your money nowadays. I can only recommend them if you have a good reason why you want dip switches or if you are a hardcore Vectrex collector that needs every Vectrex related item available in our solar system. All others will probably buy a more modern solution I guess. Next up are the Medtronics multi-cards made in Sweden. The gentleman behind Medtronics is called John and he designs all kinds of cool items like the Repro 3D Imager for the Vectrex, which basically works better than the original one in my opinion. Of course you can find videos about that and also some other cool stuff from him on my channel. The Medtronics multi-cards are also menu driven, you can get different versions. I showed this card on video already in 2014 and I will link to that. Go and check that out if you want to know more and check out the Medtronics order page for more information. As always you will find all the links in the description text below. You also can get the Medtronics multi-cards from the Luxsoft web store from Germany, so I will link also to that. In this Medtronics package here you get all classic programs including Animaction, plus some homebrew titles and demos, so this could be quite an interesting package for you. I put the two Medtronics Slim cards into transparent blue Sean Kelly Repro card shells and that looks quite nice. By the way, you can do that also with many other slim cards produced by Medtronics and others, and not only multi cards, so we can put this mystery program here in a repro card shell or this great latest homebrew shooter game here if you want. You know, this new game here is great, it was released recently and I will show it in one of my upcoming videos in more detail, but we don't have time for that now in this video here. 
I want to show you some other examples how I used Repro shells. Here we see the Medtronic Vector Sower Slim cards in clear transparent John Kelly shells and also the Light Pen Game prototype Mail Plane in a transparent blue shell. Just in case you don't know, that program is often missing on older multi cards as that playable version was made available by Chris Romero, also known as Vectrexer, in 2013. By the way, as we are talking about Vectrex Reaper shells now, the latest games from George from FuryUnlimited.com are made of solid plastic which encapsulates the whole PCB and that's why those cards are extremely heavy. I think also Medtronic experimented with a similar concept for card shells many years ago if I remember correctly now, but anyway, enough of that, back to multi cards. Next I would like to mention another solution in case you have the proper knowledge and equipment to burn your own EEPROMs. There is a guy called Roland, yeah another Roland, that designed multi cards for different systems including the Vectrex. I've never seen that solution in action, I don't have that in my collection, so I cannot tell you how good it works, but as I want to give you the complete picture here, I wanted to mention it now and I will link to the video pack forum where Roland explains how that all works, but as I said, that might be only interesting for you if you want to burn your own EEPROMs. Now let's come to the last multi-card before we move on to flashcards. This is also a very interesting multi-card I like a lot. This is the 72 game multi-card made by Andrew Coleman from the UK. He does not make only multi-cards but also games for the Vectrex. I showed the first version of his multi-card a long time ago on my channel in 2013. That older version had a problem on so-called no-bus Vectrex systems. Those are later Vectrex models that also got a special BIOS ROM version and that multi-card version 1 did not work on those. But Andy released his version 2 recently, so that problem is fixed and you get quite a nice software bundle on that card, classic programs, demos and a few homebrew games. The light pen program animation is not included, but you will get Andy's game City Bomber and a game demo for his upcoming new game. Some game hacks available on version 1 were removed, but you get the fun Flappy Bird clone Wacky Bird instead and also the great Vectrex light gun game wack a mole which I showed already on video and I will link to that in the description text below. By the way, if you are new to my channel, I have a whole Vectrex playlist where I can watch all my Vectrex videos I made so far, just in case you cannot get enough of that. And this multi card comes without a shell, but a card sticker is already included, so you could put it into a repro shell. I guess you might need to slightly modify that card shell, but that should not be too difficult. Go and check out Andy's webpage vectrexplaintradeonline.com where you can buy that card. Again, you will find the link below also for that. If you want a 72 game multi card, I would recommend that you buy the new version 2 directly from Andy instead of buying an expensive old used one from eBay. Now let's have a look at Vectrex flashcards. So here you can change the programs yourself and I would like to start with the flashcards from Richard Hutchinson from the UK. Richard designs all kinds of interesting hardware like the Atari Box Plus speech synthesizer which you can also use on your Vectrex and which I showed already on my channel of course. He also built the Flash Boy Plus for the Nintendo Virtual Boy. For those of you who don't know, I am a huge fan of that system and as there is not really much detailed information available about that system on YouTube, you can find a Virtual Boy related playlist on my channel where you can see all kinds of rare collector's items, great homebrew games and even a Virtual Boy beginner's guide video. The latest flashcard solution from Richard for the Vectrex is called Vec Multi, and this is a micro SD card based solution which comes in a 3D printed shell and a SD card full of Vectrex games and programs. On the left side you see an older version of the Vec Multi, on the right side the latest model I got recently. 
I did show the Vic Multi on video already in 2014 and I will link to that, so go and check that out if you want to know how that card works. Basically you put the ROMs on the microSD card and then you start a program to generate the menu system. There is a development mode available, it supports programs up to 64 kilobytes and it has RAM on board, so it can run even the light pen program Animation for example. This card is interesting for people that want most of their favorite Vectrex games and programs on one single card. Before you buy a used VEC Multi for some silly money on eBay, just contact Richard Hutchinson and ask if you can buy one directly from him. I will put the contact details in the text below. There are still also older cards from Richard showing up on eBay, like the VEC Flash for example, but unless you are a collector, you would like to get his latest Flash card, which for today, 2016, is the VEC Multi. Last but not least, here I show you the Matthias Rewritable Multi Game Cartridge made by my friend from Spain, Juan Felix Matthias. This card is not SD card based, it uses a completely different concept. You use a so called burner dumper device to connect the card to the USB port of your PC to transfer over the files. You can store up to 16 programs on one single card if you use programs up to 32 kilobytes. Instead of a menu system, you use a rotary switch and the card also has a pause button built in. You buy the necessary burner device only once and you can then reuse it for all kinds of different Mateos cards, like for the Atari 7800, Video Pack Odyssey 2 or Atari Lynx for example. I showed the card on video already, so go and check that out and you can also find the other Mateos cards I just mentioned here on my channel. One unique feature of the Matteo solution is that you can also dump Vectrex cards with the burner device, which does not work with all Vectrex cards. I put two of my Matteo's Vectrex cards in Sean Kelly Repro card shells, but you can also get a special 3D printed one for that card on eBay or directly from Juan, and you can even get a 3D printed case for the burner device. I will link also to Quan's webpage vectrex.hackermesh.org, there you can find all the details including costs and you can order the cards from there. You remember that new homebrew game on that yellow slim card? Well, you can also download it now and play it on your Vectrex using the Vec Multi or Matthias Rewritable Multi Game Cartridge. I will link to the webpage where to get that game. It will be also available as a physical release from Medtronix at some point. Some developers like Binary Star Software or Fury Unlimited also put some games, programs and demos on their web pages as free downloads. I will also put links for that in the text below in case you don't know them. So there you have it, my overview about Vectrex Flash and Multicards. Two more recommendations for web pages at the end. If you find any Vectrex multi-card or game cartridge in the wild and you want to know more about that, go and check out the Definitive Guide to Vectrex Collecting webpage. There you also find the download area for overlays for homebrew games and also box inlays for a few multi and flash cards. If you are looking for high quality copies of manuals of rare games, 3D games and light pen programs and also overlay scans, you will find that in the download section of the German webpage vectrex.de. So I hope this was interesting, entertaining and helpful for you. You know, making videos is a lot of work and very time consuming. And as this is a non-commercial hobby activity, this is a free service for you. So please consider subscribing to my channel to show your support. You will find a lot of stuff here you have not seen on million other YouTube channels before. Please like, share and feel free to leave a comment. Say hello to us also on Facebook and as always, thanks for watching.